Hello, what's up YouTube, Ronnie Sweet and Actual, and in this tutorial, I want to show you how you can easily create and save your frequency separation action for skin retouching for all your images in Photoshop. So, the importance for creating these actions is because you just want to fasten or speed up the skin retouching process and you don't want to go all over creating those layers every single time we are retouching images. So just want to create an action or a shortcut that we just want to play and automatically create for us those layers and divide the, the frequencies rather so that we can just go straight into retouching the image. So this is going to be helping you to save a number of seconds or minutes that you have wasted trying to create those layers. So in order to create your frequency separation action, you have to first of all ensure or note that that you have first of all come to window then you come to actions and you click on that when you click on it you can see it opens up this actions window and after it has been opened you can see that we have the actions section selected so that is the first thing you have to take into consideration and before you can create the action always make sure that you come to this folder icon and you click on it so that when you're creating the action, it is going to be recorded and saved in a folder. So I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to name this to skin retouching action. Skin retouching rather. So that is going to be the name for the group and I'm going to come and hit OK. So after that, you can see it has created for us this group. And it is within the group where you have to save your frequency separation action. So just come to this plus icon and you left click on it and you can see it gives you a name for your action. So I'm going to name this to frequency separation 16 bit. So what you have to take into consideration is you have to know that there are different bit depth or images that are going to be having different bit depth of or information. So you have 8 bit and 16 bit. So you have to create two different actions that are going to be played on various images. Remember, if I told you play an action that does not correspond with the bit depth of the image, it means that you may not be able to have a very nicely retouched image and the results may not be really that perfect. So after that, just come and hit record. And when you click on record, you can see it activates the record icon right here. So just want to divide the frequencies or divide the image into the high frequency layer, the low frequency layer and every layer that we want to use when you are going to retouch the image. So come to the background layer and hit Ctrl or Command J twice and we are going to rename this to low, low frequency and by double clicking right here we are going to name this to <coughs> rather high frequency just like that so these are two layers that we need initially and you can see every step that we are doing is being recorded right here so for this step we usually come and we turn off the high frequency layer and we select the low frequency and then we come right here to filter blur and we come to gaussian blur so this doesn't really matter at this very point because different images may be having different levels of sharpness so it is on this step that we determine the amount of information that we want to remain with in the image so usually this like i'm saying doesn't really matter because you may be having to apply different values or different radius depending on the image that you have to retouch or how close or the amount of detail that you have in your images so just going to apply any radius and just come and hit OK. So as you know, this has to stop every single time we are playing the action so that we can apply a different radius on the image. So in order to stop this action at this point, just come right here and click on this box right here. So it means that the action is going to stop at this point so that you can put a desirable radius for your image depending on what you're trying to retouch. So it's just going to come to the high frequency line and select it. I now activate it then come to image 
apply image and now we are going to come to subtract our information from the low frequency layer so since this is a 16-bit image like I said you have to create two different actions and for this tutorial I'm going to be showing you both and you can use the information that I'm going to be sharing to create your secondary or second action so just come to the layer and select the low frequency layer because we are subtracting the textures from the low frequency layer the channel is RGB and for an 8-bit image if at all you have 8 right here these are the settings that you have to put in this action so if at all you have 8 take note that you have to change the blending mode from whichever it is to subtract and make sure opacity is at 100% preserve transparency and mask are not checked the scale has to be 2 and offset 128 and make sure the invert option is not checked so when you do this you can see that the information or textures are on this gray kind of layer if at all you can see that information that is for an 8-bit image but if at all you have 16 right here and you're trying to create a 16-bit image come and change the blending mode to add the scale has to be to offset at 0 or pass at 100 percent preserve transparency and mask are not checked and make sure you turn on the invert option and you'll have the same results so after doing that just come and hit ok and come and change the blend mode from normal and change it down to linear light and that is it so usually in my frequency function actions I usually have an empty layer so I am just going to come right to the low frequency layer and select it and come to this new layer icon and create a new layer in between the low frequency and the high frequency layer and those that have watched my tutorials I usually have a black and white layer within my frequency passion action so I'm going to select the high frequency layer and in order to create a layer on top of the high frequency layer I'm just going to select the high frequency layer and come to adjustments and create a black and white adjustment layer and simply darken the reds and also darken the yellows slightly and that is it so after doing this you have to ensure that you come and group everything so I'm going to hold down shift and click on the low frequency layer to select these layers that contain the frequency separation and hit ctrl command G on the keyboard to group that I'm going to double click and name this to frequency separation and simply hit enter then open the frequency separation group just like that and come and select the low frequency layer and after selecting the low frequency layer I'm going to you have to take or make this step so that every single time you play the action T is even going to select for you and set the mixer brush for you so after doing that just come and select the low frequency layer and kind of under the brushes and simply right click and get your mixer brush tool so you have to set up the mixer brush tool so just come and make sure it is a clean brush set it to clean the brush after it and every stroke the weight is 9 load 75 mix at 90 and the flat 100 percent make sure sample all as is not checked and with this selected you can now come back to the actions and simply stop the action from playing just like that so meaning the action has successfully been recorded so just want to see if at all we successfully recorded our action so i'm just going to come and delete this so I'm going to scroll all the way up from this and click and close that. So when you come to the action, just come right here and click on it and simply play the action. And you can see it stops at a point where we are just going to select the radius. So you can choose whichever radius that you want and simply hit OK. And it's going to continue playing. And you can see it has automatically selected for us the Mr. Batch tool and selected the low frequency layer for us. And you can just come and start evening out the skin using the mixer brush tool and you can see how much time you have been able to save by just doing or playing the action and this is how to create and save your skin retouching action or your freaking separation action in photoshop and if at all you have loved this don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel 
If at all you have been watching and you not subscribe this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.